a little taller. <laughs> We're here with Aubrey Bredzo from the Washington Spirit. Aubrey, again, same question I asked Tori. What does a result like this mean for your team, bigger picture? Uh, um, we'll regroup. That one definitely hurts, uh, especially to have the run of play and to not make the most of our opportunities. But um, as everyone said, we're a young team. Um, I know we'll bounce back. Hopefully the offseason isn't too long this year. And uh, we've got lots of growth ahead for us. And what was your approach for the PKs? It looked like you preferred to read the kicker rather than guess. Yeah, um, you know, it's just a bit of luck trying to read their body language. Um, I saved one, obviously not enough. Um, wish I could do more for my team. And your team showed, again, tons of growth and good performance. What was something that stuck out for you um, here in Utah? Um, just proud of, of the way the, some of the youngsters have stepped up. You know, we don't play like we're young. We don't play like we're rookies and, and second-year players. Uh, Dorian Bailey, or yeah, Dorian Bailey and Bailey Feist um, play incredible. Ashley Sanchez, Kumi Yokoyama, the defense always holding it down. I'm just so proud of all my players. And um, yeah, we've got a bright future ahead of us. And what were some of the messages from the coaching staff after this game? Um, just keep our heads up. They didn't out football us. They just beat us in penalties. It doesn't go either way some days, and it wasn't our day. Um, hopefully next time we'll get them. And what is any of your previous um, experience in, in elimination match penalties? Um, back in college, I saved three in a row, <laughs> won the ACC championship. Um, I think that was the last PK shoot I've been in. Um, yeah, didn't, didn't quite bring that magic today. <laughs> But credit Oliver. to Sheridan. Yeah. Um, she played an incredible game and kept them in it and, uh, and got them to the penalty shootout. And um, what are specifically some of the lessons that you guys could take out of the experience here? To make the most of our chances. Um, in a tournament like this, anything can happen, as we saw yesterday with North Carolina getting knocked off and, and now the two seed us getting knocked off. Nothing's a given. This uh, Challenge Cup has been really exciting. Um, yeah, so playoff opportunity comes. You just, you got to take it and, and run with it. Well, thanks so much, Aubrey, and we hope to yeah, see you again you guys. soon. Yeah, thank you, guys. Appreciate it. Thanks. We're here with Tori Huster from the Washington Spirit. Tori, what does a result like this mean for the bigger picture, and especially for what you guys are trying to build in Washington? Hopefully it provides some fuel going into next season. Um, there's a lot of takeaways that we can grow from with this whole tournament, but this whole year as well. Um, hopefully a lot of growth happens. We'll see what happens throughout the fall. And uh, I know everyone's saying we're a young team, and yes, we are a young team, but um, I think there's a lot of maturity out on that field, and hopefully we can you know, bounce back from this. And what was lacking today in that final third? You had the run of play for large stretches, but not many clear-cut opportunities outside the late first half header. I think that's something we're going to have to work on, just being clinical in the final third. And, you know, it's not just down to, to Hatchy scoring a game-winning goal. I, I was, I think I was in on the, maybe right in on the penalty spot, could have easily put that away. Um, we had some other chances, but they weren't clear-cut chances, and that's something that we're going to need to look at and uh, revisit. We just need more of them. And how much was Andy Sullivan missed today in the midfield? Um, she, she's just missed in and around the team, whether she's playing or not. Um, we miss her, and we hope she's doing well. She's already on the road to rehab, and um, yeah, un unfortunately we didn't get the win for her today, but um, she she's amazing. And your team showed tons of growth and strong performance throughout this tournament here. What would you point out as the best thing Washington showed during the Challenge Cup? I think for the first couple of games, we maybe lost our identity, kind of getting into um, a little bit of kick and run. It's it's hard to play at altitude. It's hot. Um, but I think we had a good showing against Houston, and we got better each game, including this one. I think there were moments that we returned to our possession-based style, and we just need to keep growing on that. 
Well, thanks so much, George. Thanks, guys.